And today we're talking about modern life annoyances. Jake, what's your modern life annoyance? 5G. Care to expand on that, Jake? Were you aware that in 2018 we didn't have COVID-19? Mm, yep. I was aware that we didn't have coronavirus 19, which is named after the year 2019 in 2018. And guess what else we didn't have in 2018? Uh, people born in 2020? 5G! We didn't have 5G in 2018. Or, or 5J, as I like to call it. And dare I ask what the J stands for? Jews. Oh, of course it does. I'm not going to say anything offensive, so just get down off your eye horse, right? The five J's are Bill Gates. Not Jewish. Benjamin Netanyahu. Netanyahu, yeah, big Jew. Roman Abramovich. Left field, bit of an undercover Jew there. Or should I say Abraham Abramovich. <laughs> oh, old school. And the Rothschilds. What, all of them? Yeah. Right, so that's Four, or, well, hundreds if you count them all, I guess. May I suggest your fifth Jewish spot goes to a comedian? This is not a laughing matter. With Abramovich's money, which he stole from privatising the communist state, they set up 5G using Microsoft's technological infrastructure. <laughs> this, this is absolute nonsense. So what, like, Bill Gates, one of the richest people in the world, has got a bottom of money off Roman Abramovich? Yeah, and I ain't been anti-Semitic, right? Oh, I think you are. I've been dodgy moneylenders since Shakespeare's time. Even wrote it in Merchant of Venice. That fictional play, yeah. Also wrote about a fairy in A Midsummer Night's Dream. And now Gates is in over his head, so he's contaminated his 5G with radioactive chrono waves so that there's less people around. So then there's less people to use his network and so that he'd earn less money. See, this is the kind of claptrap conspiracy theory that's completely contradictory. And if I say any more C's, listeners, I'm going to get taken off the air. It's not contradictory at all. You're always rude to your listeners like this. Gates will become a billionaire overnight. What do the Rothschilds and Netanyahu have to do with all this? As everybody with any level of intelligence knows, the Rothschilds own the World Health Organisation. Uh, no, they absolutely don't. I mean, the UN do, but please... Go on. So they stand to make the most money out of a vaccine and the Zionist media cover it up by diverting your attention away with Hollywood films which further enrich Jewish actors. Gee, you know, if Jews controlled Hollywood. I think they would have come up with a better finale for Game of Thrones. Now, I actually didn't mind the finale to Game of Thrones, but anyway, the Zionists shut everyone down regardless. Right, OK. Right, and who are these Zionists exactly? All the Jews and Bill Gates? And anyone that supports them. Did you know that the so-called Star of David is He's not... not actually a star. Ah, so you overstand the truth, brother. Yeah, it's two Illuminati pyramids put together. And simplified for clip art purposes. I'm going to expose these Zionists for who they really are. No, Jake, it's you Modern that's been exposed day. as an anti-Jewish racist and a moron. I've listened to your incendiary hate speech because that's exactly what it is. It's anti-Semitic and it's hate speech and I'm not going to listen to it anymore. Shalom. Well, then, and next on the line, we have Lottie from London. Lottie, what's your modern world annoyance? Right. I just need to say the problem with Netanyahu is that he well, well, keeps... Well, can I just remind you that this is a phone-in on modern annoyances? Well, yet the question is, why is Netanyahu covering up the existence of flying cars? I don't know. Probably for the same reason that Scotland is covering up the Loch Ness Monster, because it doesn't exist. Oh, Marlon, don't be so close-minded. Look, I've got no problems with you know, criticisms of Netanyahu or the Israeli state, but it's kind of undermined when it's mixed with wild anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. And I feel this quite deeply, listeners, as some of you may not be aware, that I, Marlon Solomon, am in fact Jewish. I've never seen you in one of them funny hats. You've never seen me at all, Lottie. I'm on the radio. All right, well then, what do you think of the two-state solution to the Israel-Palestine I think, I think, I think Lottie, it's kind of quite patronising to assume that I'd have a valid opinion on that just because I'm Jewish. Thanks for your call, Lottie. Coming up next on the line, we have Billy from Bristol, who I hope is going to talk some sense. Billy, tell us about your modern annoyances. Oh, hi, Marlon. Uh, Long-time listener, first-time caller. Uh, well, third-time caller. I've just never got through before. Um, I was going to say, don't you think that the Loch Ness Monster could actually be a transient lizard controlled by a nexus of Zionists? Marlon? Oh, they've got to him. <laughs>